Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. You're going to have to bear with me because I've not been very well as of recently and my voice still sounds a bit croaky, but we're, we're going to get through this. <laughs> so I thought I'd make a video today because this kind of is technically my last essay that I have to do for uni. Um, so I'm not done with uni yet, so... Just to clarify, I'm doing four modules this year. One of them is finished, completely done, sent all my work off. The second one is the one I'm doing now. I've got this last essay to write, send off, and then that's it. I have my third module, which is um, an exam, which is happening in the next few days, which is a little bit terrifying, but it's fine, because once I've done this essay, I can then study for the exam. And then my fourth and final module is um, like my big final project so although that kind of is almost like an essay it's a big essay and it's a big project so I thought I'd do a whole separate thing for that anyway so yeah in a sense this is technically my last essay that I have to write for uni yay so I thought I would talk to you uh, pretty much about how I do essays, what my tips are and what my process is. Um, now the thing is with essays, everybody has their own sort of unique process. I'm not saying that what I do is what everyone should do because everybody is different. I'm just saying that I've had to sort of find my own method and granted it took a while because I kind of grew up in a school where it was like this is how you study no there's no other way of doing it it's just this and that didn't work for me so I've had to almost like relearn how to study and how to do things until I found what worked for me so I wanted to kind of share that with you because my method is not what I was taught at school and if you're in the same situation like me you might find some things that I do helpful or whatever so I thought I'd share and you can kind of pick and choose and try out and then find your own path really because there's quite a few things that I do when it comes to writing an essay and I don't have sort of like a set process I have sort of things that I just do and then I sort of work it as and I go along it it changes a lot my process and I think that's why it works for me is that I can change it so the first thing I do is I make a note of like when it needs to be handed in so that gives me time to sort of work out what I am doing beforehand schedule my days and my study time and go from there so this next part depends on essentially how things are so with the essays I've been doing they've been in three separate parts so you have part A, part B, part C now I make sure that I have three full days set aside and I do it that I schedule at like one day per section so if my for example my essay needed to be handed in on the Tuesday I would schedule three days the week before so I would schedule I don't know maybe a Tuesday a Thursday and a Friday that way I've got three full days as a minimum to get those done and then I have the leftover weekend and a couple of days the next week to sort of go through checks make sure everything's done correct any mistakes I've made so I Essentially, I give myself like a week of this essay, which is a bit difficult anyway, because I work full time. There's obviously outside of work commitments, outside of uni commitments. So I need to make sure that I have the three full days. That way, if anything happens or goes wrong or whatever on that day, I have enough time to sort of get around it and do what I need to do. So when it comes to the first day, I will focus on one section. That will be my main, sort of my main goal is to complete all of one section in that day. If I can do more, brilliant. I would rather do more, but my sort of set goal is to make sure that at least that section is done for that day. So I've kind of got my days planned. The next step that I do, so before I do any of the work, is I go through and I read the questions. That way I know what I'm doing, I have an idea of what I feel happy to do, what I feel most confident in, and you can get sort of like some ideas rolling and start my initial plan. Um, during this time, I might as well make some notes on like a separate Word document of the ideas that I've got, where I might look for these results, and 
stuff like that. So I start the planning process. This will be before the days I've set aside. So if I've set my first day on the Tuesday, I might do this the Sunday or the Monday beforehand. So this is and sort of like a nice easy session. I don't need a full day for this. This is just a nice easy sort of session. Read through the questions, make some notes, and just start thinking about it. One of the things I like to do is I like to let what I said call my ideas percolate. So I'll have my ideas down. I will then go off and do something else that's not sort of strenuous or whatever. So I might do the wash the dishes or for example that way I can let sort of like the ideas sort of percolate in the background whilst I'm still doing something normal and then go from there so I find that's quite helpful for me because it gives me the sort of time to mentally prepare myself and mentally plan for what I'm going to do the other thing it does is it helps me identify the areas that I feel most confident in and the areas that I feel like I suck at now this part I'm going to say is going to be very subjective this depends on what you would prefer for me I start off with the section I feel most confident with and that could be any section so it could be um, I've read through all the questions and I think B section B is where I feel most confident and what I've had the most ideas for so day one I will start on section B now the reason I say this is sort of dependent on the person is the reason I like doing this is because it means I can get all of my ideas down before I forget them and while I'm in the mode and what I feel happy doing. Once that's done, in theory I feel like it should take the least amount of time because I've already got ideas and I already feel comfortable with what I'm looking at and what I'm doing. So that should take the shortest amount of time. So my idea is to get it sort of done and out of the way so at least I've got something to hand in if but everything falls apart or whatever so I feel like I've handed in my best piece of work I also do this because it makes me feel confident and proud of myself right from the start and this is an important thing is you need to feel proud of what you're doing you need to feel encouraged and all of that stuff so I start with my best section first so that I can look like constantly look back at it and go I've done that I feel proud of that I'm happy with what I've done then once I've done that so in theory this would be on the first day so say Tuesday I'm glad I'm remembering these days so say Tuesday I've done that it's taken me half of the day probably less I'm just rounding up to a nicest number so let's say it took me half the day I can then sort of go oh that's only taken me half a day I'll start on the next section that I felt happy to do and I'll get a start on that that way I'm already part way through the next section ahead of schedule so I've done all the work I needed to do I'm now starting and preparing for the next section so it's getting me ahead of what I'm doing so then I'll move on to the section that I feel sort of average about that could be section C and I'll go through that it will take a bit longer because I normally find that as the questions have gone so A is normally the easiest of the questions and then they're gradually getting harder or more complicated and they need more time hence one of the reasons why I want to try and get them done as quickly as I can as well so that I can try and get to each part and the stuff that I'm struggling with I know will need extra time and the la bigger the question the bigger the dedication as well so I try to sort of get ahead of myself so that I'm organized as well so I'll then move on to the next section which needs a bit of work get that sorted go through that and yeah still using the stuff that I've already done as a motivational boost and confidence so I find that when I do my essays I scroll through because it's all on a word document I scroll through the word document so much just to give myself that little ego boost of just going look how much I've already done and just to feel proud of what I've accomplished so far now that I feel is important for me because it's so easy especially if you're stuck in a section that you're struggling with to feel like you're failing and to feel like you don't understand and that you're not good at anything so to flick back at the stuff I've already done is to go no you know what I'm just struggling with this bit I've done all of this stuff very well it's just this bit I'm struggling with I'm doing fine I should feel proud and that is a good motivational boost and I feel like it's important to do that and I do that a lot when I do my essays there is a lot of scrolling backwards and forwards so then once I've done section two let's say that I started that on the Tuesday made a few notes did a bit of revision I then carried it on on the Thursday let's say because I've set the goal of I will finish that on the Thursday I'll get it done 
that's sort of the goal that I've set aside. Set it aside, finish it on Thursday. I will then come to the final section, which is the one that I've deemed as the hardest for me, the one that I don't know enough about. And I'll give myself the full day to do that. And having that sort of goal of each one needs to be finished by this day is good because it gives, like, when you set a target of this is to be done on this day, you're more likely to stick to it. And I feel like because I've told myself I have to finish this on this day, that gives me the push to sort of finish it on that day. So I'll get that done on the Friday. That gives me Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then the deadline on Tuesday to just go through, double check my work, read through it to a point where I feel happy and confident that I can't do any more, that this is the best work that I can do, and there isn't anything else that I can really add to it. Then I will essentially send it off and get it checked, reviewed, all of that stuff, and then wait for my marks. The other thing that I do, and this one is important to me and why I set myself an entire day per section. Now I reward myself an awful lot when I am doing my essays so depending on what the section is so for example section A is usually a multiple question thing so there'll be about six different questions and then B might be an essay and then C will be something else that will take just as long as an essay. Something like that. Now, I will work out either a time frame of work or per question, and then I will set myself a, a reward of some sort. So if we focus on section A, because that's an easy one to establish. So section A has got six questions. I will do it that I will reward myself in some way after each question. This takes a very long time. And if you don't need to be rewarded that often, then maybe you could do it after every two or every three questions or something like that to get through it a bit quicker. But I find that the more questions I do, the more tired I feel, the less motivated, and then eventually I'll get to a point where I'm just like, why am I doing this? I'm exhausted. I feel terrible. and I don't want to do this anymore. And then my work doesn't reflect what I know or who I am. So... I reward myself a lot because this gives me a bit of a break to just sit down, relax, zone out, do something else and then come back feeling refreshed and my breaks aren't long enough for me to get completely out of the zone but they're long enough for me to feel like I've earned, had a break. Now a lot of people do different reward systems so some people will do it that they'll just sit down and they'll have like a snack break for example where they'll just sit for 15 minutes and do a snack. Some people will check their phone for like 20 minutes or something like that. What I do is I watch an episode of whatever series I'm hooked on. So at the moment I'm going through Naruto. There's a lot of episodes to Naruto and it's quite difficult, I'll be honest, to watch an episode of Naruto and step away and then go back to doing study because a lot of the times they'll end on like a cliffhanger or something and I want to know what happens next. So it takes a lot of dedication to watch just one episode and then go back to work. But this is my motivation for doing my work as well. I'll sit there and I will be in my mind, right, if I do this question, I can then find out what happens to Naruto. And that motivates me to do my work as well. And then once I've done it, I look forward to the break because I get to watch the episode. And I will sit down, sometimes I'll make a coffee, sometimes I'll have a snack, but most of the time it's just I'll sit down watch the episode, completely zone out of my essentially science academic brain and do some weird fantasy fiction thing with Naruto. And then when I come back, I definitely feel like I've taken a break because I've done something completely different to what I have been doing. So I'm not reading. I'm not like academically focusing on anything. I am just zoning out and doing something that is so different to what I am studying that it... it justifies a break it feels like a break and I've stepped away from it all and then when I come back because it's only been about 20-25 minutes I've still got some memory and knowledge of what I had been doing because I've not been gone for too long and I feel refreshed to come back to do it so that is why it takes me so long to do this because I'm constantly checking through the progress I've already done and watching Naruto at intermittent moments to keep my morale up but it works for me. It means that I'm doing 
essentially the best work I can do and I'm actually enjoying what I'm doing because it feels like I'm doing this because I want to and it doesn't feel like I have to do it as much so although I've got the deadline and I know I need to get the work done to get my degree and all of this stuff it doesn't feel as much pressure because I'm kind of doing it in my time and I'm doing it because I want to do it and I'm not burning myself out with it I'm not stressing over it because I'm taking regular breaks to focus on something else and that helps me enjoy it because it's not everything is my degree it's now I jump in and out and it feels like I'm so for example if I was doing this on a day off of work I feel like I've not wasted the day off of work because I've still had a few moments to do something that I enjoy and that I can rest with but I've also got all of my work done and that works for me so that's what I do when I do essays and I wanted to share this because when I was at school I was never taught a lot of the things that I do now that are actually helping me so I was never told to take breaks during my revision or my essays I was never told to focus on the sections that you feel confident in or that you can do first or to like mix and match I was always taught start question one go down um, I was I was told if you don't know one miss it and then come back to it but that was it that's all I was told I was never told to read through the questions beforehand I was never told like there's a lot of stuff that I do now that I was not taught at school like even studying when I was at school I was told the best way to study is to copy straight from a book which is now like the worst way to study because all you're doing is copying from a book you're not reading it you're not understanding it and you're not interpreting it you are just wasting your time so yeah there's a lot of things that I now do differently than when I was at school and I imagine there's a lot of people in the same sort of boat where you were taught one thing at school and that's not the best way to do stuff anymore so I wanted to share <laughs> I will probably make some more videos uni based soon because I am getting closer to actually finishing my degree now I'm getting so close it's actually scaring me because <laughs> it's one of those things of like I'm really looking forward to finishing but I'm also dead scared about finishing because I'm like oh god there's still so much to do and it's like it's creeping up on me but yeah I will make some more videos for you guys soon I'll probably figure out some more tips and stuff and go from there but if you're a uni student or well any student to be honest and you've got study tips or essay methods or whatever that you want to share feel free to leave them in the comments below because I mean what works for me is not going to work for everyone some people might not want to take as many breaks as I do some people might need more days to do their essays and whatever you do is fine and it's great to sort of try out new things and find what works best for you so yeah if you've got any tips feel free to leave those and yeah we'll we'll see you some more uni videos again in the future but thank you guys for watching feel free to like subscribe comment whatever you want and i'll see you again soon bye